What's up, everybody? Chaos Dark Soul here, back for the for day three of the Pokemon Daily Duels TCGO series, and I've decided instead of doing this every day, seven days a week, I'm going to do it Monday through Friday. Fortun oh, unfortunately, today is Monday, and I did not have a episode ready for today, so I may be missing a day. I don't know if I can get this video recorded and edited and rendered and everything on time to get it up, but to make up for that, I'm going to open up these three packs. I bought these three packs today, and we're going to see what I can get. Hopefully something good out of these two packs, because these two sets I need some good stuff from. But we're going to start with the Flash Fire, the oldest pack first. That Mega Kangaskhan artwork. We got a Caterpie, Litleo, Roselia, Feebas, Pidgey, Protection Cube, Metapod, Furfro, Reverse Hollow Flow, baby, and the rare is a Flow. So we're gonna go with Phantom Forces. I could use Nature Slash EX. Which one card that I just don't want to see. We got Zubat, Litwick, Dedenne, Murkrow, Whismur, Fero, Crocna, Mysterious Energy, or Mystery Energy. Reverse Hollow Krabby, and the rare is a Blitz. Not the H slash EX that I would have liked to see, or a Heatran, or even a Bronzong with Metal Links, or the Dialga EX. But there's one card from this set that everybody wants. Let's see if we can get it. Swablu, P Dove, Gligar, Meowth, Electric, Electro. Double Dragon Energy, Silicon, Reverse Hollow Binnacle, and the rare is a uh, Dust Tox Ancient Traits, which is not Shaman EX that I wanted. So we're going to go over here to Versus, and we're going to use the last of the decks from the Powers Beyond tins, the Scoundrel Jin. Which, to me, is probably the weakest deck from all. We got Bidoof, Bee Barrel, Wobbuffet, Zubat, Golbat, Esper, Meowstic, and Hoopa EX. With the useless ability for this deck, because it allows you to search your deck for up to three Pokemon EX, which is a very good ability. Except in a deck where Hoopa EX is the only EX. And we're not going to go over the, the trainers and stuff. We'll see him in the battle or battles, depending on how well I do or depending on how bad my opponents do. So we got a guy. We got a guy here. He's gonna go first. And I get Esper. Okay. And he's got a Lugia EX. Ah, uh, this just already looks wonderful. This looks like a great start. He's got two roller skates that have both gotten heads. He's using a third one. I could never be that lucky. So he's got a Oddish. It's deciding to not um if this Lugia hits me once, I'm done. Steven lets me search for a deck, my deck for a supporter and a basic energy card. I might as well go ahead and use Steven. Uh, it's not really going to help, because again, if he hits me once, I'm done. He has a double colorless energy, which, to be fair, well, Yep. There's the game. That's game number one. I don't even get to spin the wheel because it didn't last long enough, so let's try it again. Like I said, this is the weakest deck of them all out of the three tins. If you're buying this tin, it's because you either buy all three of them in the first place, you want the promo, or it's just a nice way of buying four packs for yourself. I don't know. 
whatever the whatever your reasoning is. Um, I'm gonna put it on Zubat, honestly. Put the psychic energy on Zubat. This Kangaskhan EX is not a fun Pokemon to go up against. It allows him to draw three cards with his first attack. And then he can do a good amount of damage with his second attack. So we're going to get Wobbuffet and Hoopa. Wobbuffet has an ability that allows... As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon in play, each player's hand, and in each po player's discard pile has no abilities except for Psychic type Pokemon. No, I would not like to search my deck for up to three. Because I don't have any other EX Pokemon besides Hoopa. And then we're also going to see just how bad Hoopa really is. As a support card, Hoopa is fairly decent. As an attacker, Hoopa is not that great. So I'm gonna waste his energy right there. Just so he's not building up the Kangaskhan EX all that much. I do need an energy on Esper to retreat. So I can go out to Hoopa EX. See, I mean, the Wild Fat can be useful in some areas, but against this deck, his Pokemon have no ability. So, it doesn't do me any good. So, let's... I'm gonna AZ the Esper. Because Hoopa, you can do 100 damage, you don't apply weakness and resistance, but you have to discard two energies. So, Hoopa needs... Oh, I didn't realize you could attack whatever you wanted, though. That actually makes it a little bit better. A little bit better. So he's going to put an experience share on the Dratini because he obviously knows that Kangaskhan EX is going down next turn. He is drawing through his deck fairly quickly. Um, but shouldn't matter too much. I know... Okay, let's see. Who has... I'll, I'll put Zubat out. Zubat doesn't have a free retreat cost. But we can go ahead and use the energy retrieval to get the two psychic energies back. I will put another one on Hoopa instead of Zubat, and I guess I can use Pokemon Fan Club to draw out more cards for my deck just to do it. Just so my next card to draw might be something more useful. He's going to play Dragonair, which actually makes both of those a little bit more threatening, because that Dragonite card is not nice. But we'll see what we can do here. Shrine of Memories, which allows each Pokemon in play to use moves from its pre-evolution. So, I'm going to try to use Super Scoop Up, just to not waste an energy. We're going to play Hoopa EX back out. I know it's not, like, the best idea, and I'm going to get rid of this Dragonair. Because he was setting that thing up a little much. And obviously it was kind of becoming a threat. More so than the King is Gone EX. So I'm actually doing a pretty decent job with this deck. But, of course it's gonna... You know, be a problem now. With that Dragonite. He does not have enough energy to attack with heavy impact, but he does have that. 
So, I'm going to play the Lucky Helmet on him for EX. I'm going to play the Psychic Energy, and I'm going to Hyperspace Fury is... I should Hyperspace Fury is Dragonite. But I'm going to Hyperspace Fury the King's Gone just to get rid of it so I can draw two prize cards. I really don't see why he has Shrine of Memories. It's not really all that great for what he's doing. Um, I'm going to play the Dimension Valley, play the B-Barrel, although I do need three energies for it. We're going to get a Golbat. We're going to get... As many damage counters from your Pokemon on your opponent's Pokemon as you like to any of your opponent's other Pokemon. Eh, I mean, it's not really useful, but we'll play it anyways. And I'll just end my turn because Koopa really can't do anything right now. Although I get not surprised that you have another Shrine of Memories with your giant hand size. You do get the Energy Retrieval, um, which does allow me to dr draw back two more Psychic Energies. I'm going to play one on B-Barrel because honestly, B-Barrel is my only hope right now. He needs... no, of course not. Of course not. I lost. Doesn't matter now, I've lost. He's gonna be able to use heavy impact. It's gonna take me out, and I just remembered this Dragonite has the plus ability, which allows him to take one more prize card. <sighs> Did I mention I lose? He has no retreat, or he has no damage countered on him anyway, so. Why would you use Slam? Why would you not use Heavy Impact? Just, just end my turn. There's no point in trying to do 10 damage to him. Why would you have not done that in the first place? So I get a Mystery Box, which is nice, and I get 11 Trainer Tokens for my first spin of the day, and I get... Frozen City, which is a stadium card that doesn't want to load up. It's an expanded one. Uh, whenever any player attaches an energy from his or her hand to one of his or her Pokemon, excluding Team Plaza Pokemon, put two damage counters on the Pokemon. <sighs> Nothing very good. I'm going to try to do one more battle, and this will end off the tins. Um, next, the next episode might be another pre-made deck, but will definitely be a better deck than this one. Probably a better deck than any of the tens, but I will have to go into Expanded in order to do it. Um, I don't think I will have uploaded the opening video yet, honestly, because I haven't even opened the product I'm talking about, but I did show it off in another opening, but... Just to show it here, I do have this, which does come with codes, a code that gives you both decks. So that will definitely be featured on Daily Duels. This guy is taking forever to choose next Pokemon. Um, I'm going to have to play Esper. Hopefully this battle doesn't go on a little longer. I really wasn't paying attention. He probably has a water deck because, you know, his sleeves are water. Eh, of course. I'm going to Pokemon Fan Club. I'm going to get a Zubat and Wobbuffet. Um, his Pokemon don't have abilities, so Wobbuffet's not really useful here. But we're going to do what I can. I'm going to do what I can do. I don't even know what the Mystery Energy does. It 
It makes my retreat cost you less. I don't care. It's not really helpful. But I do have Fake Out, which means I can potentially paralyze the Reg Ice while setting up to evolve into Meow Stick, which is helpful to an extent, because it does 10 more damage for each energy it for each energy attached to your opponent's active one. That's weird. You know, Lysander? Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. This deck does have Switch. It does have AZ, which, of course, is right there. Uh, I'm gonna play the Golbat. This Golbat does have the ability that allows me to do 20 damage to the Regice right away. And I guess I can just play S or Meow Stick right now. And I'll end my turn. So he's gonna play the Dull Colorless Energy, which is gonna allow him to do 70 damage. Doesn't take me out. Um, I do need another Psychic Energy on Meow Stick. No! Oh, that was a... That was a bad misclick. That was... There, there's no point now. Oh, man. Mike, sorry about that. <sighs> this guy likes to take his time with his moves, including picking prizes. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Like, seriously, I cannot believe I did that. do damage to the red ice and then super cross which does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. <sighs> kind of pointless to even keep playing at this point. Red ice does enough damage to take out Colbat. So honestly I'm just gonna end it a little prematurely here. That was a bad, bad misclick. Wasn't even a long enough game. But, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed watching this, me lose three times with this terrible, terrible deck, please do not buy the tin with the intention of making or having some great deck. The only good thing out of this deck is the fact that you get two Hoopa EXs, which can be used in a big EX deck. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.